and Bob Hall here with Mo and today we're going to show you how we bend pipe to make our greenhouses and uh, hopefully I can show you a few things on uh, how to simply put together the ribs section of a greenhouse. So first I've got uh, benders here and um, I've got for different sizes you can go up to 24 foot, 20 foot, 16 foot, 12 foot and 4 foot and today I'm going to make some 12 footers. To make a 12 foot it takes two sticks of pipe. This is one and three eighths pipe, uh, chain link fence, top rail pipe, and we're going to bend that to make the ribs. And the first thing you do is you want to mark the pipe at six inches. So I make a mark at six inches. And then I'll, I'll show you a close-up of this here and on the next one, but uh, you put the pipe in there just so the, the six inch mark goes through the little hook. And I'll, again, I'll, I'll do one and then I'll show you up close. And then this curvature, you just bend the pipe along this curvature and it'll bend half the pipe. And then we'll push it through and then we'll bend the other half. And it's important we don't twist it but I'll show you it's real simple you just take it and you bend it like that push it through put the board under it perfect yeah, just, I'm gonna have Mo hold it there so we don't uh, get it twisted and uh, then we just bend the rest of it Pull that through. Okay, I'll get another pipe uh -oh. and I'll move the camera so you can see here. The oh, one of the six inch mark and it's always best instead of going I'm, I'm using the uh, tapered end it's best just to always stick with the same side and see here's that that hook that holds the pipe in and you push the pipe in just till it's past the the six inch mark and then you go ahead and Make the bend, push it through till you got right there. So you want to meet right where the bend is flush with the curvature of the pipe bender, and then you got this bar coming out straight. Then you put your cheater in and bend it the rest of the way, and then push it through. So the way this works is pretty simple. You've got the uh, tapered end and the non-tapered end, and you just put them together, and then you would take some sheet metal uh, screws, and I always put two in just to make sure, and then when you stand it up, there's your, there's your arc. And this is a 12 foot which takes two, two. If you make the 24 foot bend, the curve isn't as pronounced and it takes four sticks of pipe. But that's, uh, that's how it's done. And I'll show you what these go into because a 12, a, a 12 uh, foot circle, if you cut it in half, so it's six foot. And you see I'm not quite six foot tall. That makes uh, a six foot arch, but the greenhouses, are uh, up about eight foot and I'll, I'll show you how that works here okay so as you saw that it'd be a smaller greenhouse and if that's what you want you can certainly do that but the way you make these greenhouses this is the uh, the normal post 
for a chain link fence. This is one and five eighths pipe where this is one and three eighths. And the marks that we make at six inches, not only does that help us on where we're gonna make our bend, but these, and I like to make, have them four foot, and that way you drive them into the ground two feet deep, and then you got two foot sticking out. If you want a taller greenhouse, of course you can make it like six foot, put two in the ground and four out. But then once these are all posted, uh, you, you stick these in the ground first, and then when you make your arch, you come in and you put that right at your mark, and you again you use uh, sheet metal screws, put a couple in here, and that'll give you you know an eight foot height or whatever you want, and that's how you you make the the greenhouse. So it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can buy these benders. There's a guy here in Texas that. Uh, uh, makes them and uh, I, I don't know when I bought mine they were like 80 90 bucks or something but I'll tell you what to bend your own pipe it's certainly worth it and it comes with uh, two holes where you just screw them to a pallet or any anything that's you know gonna give you some support so that you can do the bend but uh, that's that's how you put uh, a greenhouse frame together and doing it that way, you can build a structure very, very cheap. I know a lot of people, they'll, they'll use rebar and PVC and, and all that. But I'll tell you what, for the strength you get out of doing this type of metal and the cost difference between doing PVC and doing metal, um, I mean, it's not that significant of a cost difference. It's, it's really quite cheap. And um, you get a much, much stronger infrastructure that way so if you're thinking about making a greenhouse and and thinking well I need to use PVC um, please consider using pipe it's it, I, we've had 80 90 mile an hour winds out here and these greenhouses haven't had a bit of problems uh, part of that too is the uh, cover I use it's a triple weave we uh, we, we, we custom make them for, for people and to the size of your greenhouse and they're like 12 year plastic. And uh, so they handle wind and hail and all kinds of stuff. But using, using metal is a much stronger way to build a greenhouse. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I know it's a simple little video. I've got some more pipe to build. I've got a guy coming to pick up uh, a greenhouse kit today and this is the last part of it. But uh, anyway, please uh, leave us a comment if you'd like and uh, share us, if you would, on uh, Facebook. That really helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And we thank you for watching.